Alright, so what is up guys? This is Draken here. Welcome back and today guys we are gonna be do running the artifact of the strong. Uh not the, yeah, it's the artifact of the strong, we are running the strong, okay? Better known as the Yeti Cave. That's where all the Yetis can be found, the only place where the Yetis can be found, and possibly the hardest cave in the arc. Alright, so it's right here. And we'll get to what we are we'll get to the items which we get when tributing the artifact and the creatures that you can use to just run this uh, cave as soon as we get di dive down into the coordinates so this cave is located at 29.1 and 31.9 it's quite easy to spot it's just at the base of that blue obelix and for this cave i would recommend having an otter with you because the otter will help you to regulate your temperature and you will be safe from the cold and now on to the matter of what kind of creatures are good for this cave well there's a lot of creatures you can use a dire wolf a saber tooth uh, or else you can use the arthropleuras and the spiders the arrhenios all of them are suitable for the cave you cannot use raptors other creatures cannot be used because the cave is too small to be run on that, on those creatures they cannot fit through the entrance all right so before we begin guys i want to tell you just remember that you can get uh, good compound boards not the blueprints i'm talking about the real thing compound boards and there's a rare chance of getting a giga saddle uh, by tributing the artifact that comes from this cave and also massive amounts of experience that's just a bonus all right uh, along with that you can get some nice amber as well a large amount of amber from this is also possible you can get those uh, and you can also get the blueprints for the pump shotguns this is where you can find the blueprints for the pump shotguns to be crafted up better quality blueprints for running the dungeons and caves all right let's kill you all right now when you're running this cave you can use a dire wolf as i said before but i would prefer that you guys well it is my preference to always have a high level saber possibly fully imprinted and uh, as strong as you can possibly get uh, the parents of this saber here who I named Flare Tooth. So Flare Tooths is a max uh, the parents are max level and they had really good stats and I combined all the good stats together and made the Flare Tooth who is a monstrous damage dealer. You cannot actually compare him with normal creatures and because of the fact that you can get really good saddles for the saber tooths and all you it's quite good and easy to you have a saber tooth for the this particular cave because saber tooth can wreck through all creatures in here just like that uh, my saber tooth is able to deal thousands of damage now just remember this cave is quite hard and there are some places where you can just simply skip the combat as well all right let's just try to get this now this cave because of the fact that there's a lot of fighting go going on in this cave most of the times well it tends to be a lot laggy in here and uh, I don't mind fighting them but right here there's no need to fight them also we are gonna be running we are gonna be heading down and uh, possibly pass them all jump like that and then through this way you can go and sometimes there are creatures here as well we can avoid them all it's best to avoid fighting whenever possible because you need to conserve your health especially if you're going to run this around several times because well you can run in this around several times you can get really really good blueprints and weapons as well uh primary heavy minus helmets those are things that i get along with the ascendant oh that's something i had to tell even though the orders do protect you from the cold they cannot protect you from the water the water can kill you pretty fast if you're not careful all right so it's better to just avoid falling into the water and keep running just like that all right so here also you can avoid the fights and right here you are going to need a pickaxe if you haven't done this before you are going to need a pickaxe in order to carve your way through the crystals that's going to be there i have broken the crystals which is why the pathway is clear for me but otherwise you're gonna have to just break them as well all right so this guy is coming now there are loot crates to be found in the cave which is quite nice as far as I'm aware, there are three loot crates. A fixed red loot crate can be found further on down into the cave. And uh, sometimes this yellow loot crate, it's not always there. So when it's there, it's better to just grab it. Alright. 
Okay, so you just yeeted me. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Come on. Alright, I'll just stay here. Blueprints, whatever. Okay, so going downwards. Now this can now this particular place is a bit tricky. It's better to just lure all the creatures out separately. You're gonna find diables in here along with onyx and the yetis as well. So it's better to get rid of the diables and the onyx first and uh, avoid the yetis. Well, I can take on the yetis, but uh, it's okay. It's just a useless waste of time. Wow, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of wolves, bruh. Really? Alright, let me just clear this rubble first. Alright, so that's the Diavos. And we've got Onyx in there. And obviously we'll have Yeti as well. So the next step is to just lure the Onyx inside here. So then... We can deal with the onyx without the problems of the yetis as well. Now just remember that the devils and the yetis do hit each other as well. And uh, you can just aim upwards with your saber tooth and just bite. Or else you can just use a sword as well. The, either way both of the methods work well in uh, this thing. So remember that both of them works. Alright. Come on die already. Onyx. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna need a pretty good saddle for your saber tooth if you are planning on using a saber tooth, which is quite good uh, because well the divers don't have any saddles, which is kind of frustrating. Okay, this not too nice, but it is manageable. All right, let's run. Okay, like that, and out through here. Alright, so the creatures in this particular region will despawn. It's like some kind of a glitches here, so the creatures just despawn here when you're just coming through. And what you want to do is take this up way. Uh, if it wasn't clear to you guys, after coming down from here, there are two pathways. You can take that pathway or this pathway. Both, play, both pathways lead to the same spawn. But up here you can find a loot crate. A red loot crate. One of the best loot crates to be found. Oh, come on. Don't jump. So the red is the highest tier of loot crates to be found. And you can find weapons in here sometimes and uh, saddles as well. Sometimes blueprints for saddles, sometimes there are real saddles and weapons themselves. Alright, so just coming calm up here and jumping. And it's quite easy to just get up here without any problems and let's grab this. Just like that. Ooh, a center and brown platform. See, that's what I mean. This is a really good spot for you to get good cells and the likes. And let's jump on small. And continuing downwards like this, like this, and like this. You can jump from here without getting fall damage. So jump down to here and then jump down to here. Alright. Now continuing onwards. Here is another spot where there are a lot of creatures sometimes spawning in. Yeah, I can already see them, Onyx. Now it's better you can just fight them if you want or else you can just uh, run it's quite easy to avoid them all because this is quite a large region of open space to be found and uh, well the water is damaging as well now we can afterwards all you have to do is come over to here uh, sh should I just show you guys well after this there is this platform like shelf like region that's going to straight away lead up here and that's the artifact now just remember that well this water is quite deadly if you fall onto it you are most probably dead but I'm gonna get rid of this yeti right here because I wanna show you guys because well some of you might not know but there is a way for you to just get out of that water if you fall into it which is what I'm going to show you guys right now it is kind of troublesome yes alright let's get rid of you two uh, one remaining Come on, Onyx, die, please. 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 Alright, that's taken care of. Let that lag get lost. And coming down here. If you fall onto this water, just remember that there are 
saber tooth salmon and anglers in here so it's a good spot for you to get anglers all you have to do is swim towards this particular spot and you can get on top of the shelf and then you can just work walk all your way across to the top right here so if you fall in just remember that this is a good spot i'm just going to go to photo mode to just take a good display this is how it looks underneath if you fall in just go up to this region and you can get on top otherwise you are dead because this water is dreadful even your otter will not survive if it falls into the water as long as it's on your shoulder it's safe but if it falls into the water it's dead and if you do not have the otter, otter with you you will definitely just freeze to death before you just get to the artifact container if oh the bug is still there Alright, so currently there's a small bug which I think will be. Oh, yes, I already have the damn artifact. Let's discard that and grab this. Okay. So that's the artifact taken care of. Now we can just run straight back. Just like that. You don't need to jump, keep jumping like that, but if you want, you can jump. It's just for fun. Alright, let's just go through this because I'm gonna take the other part even going down. Of course, we had to just jump through here and avoid the fight as much as possible. It's better to avoid fighting in here if you just if you're just planning on farming the artifact of the strong. You can get a lot of amber, not in the way I just got right now. That's just a bug that's currently existing. Uh, all right. Okay, so down this pathway. So this is the pathway we just went up earlier, went from the top earlier, and now we are just going along the bottom. Remember that there is a nice spot in this cave if I'll just show it to you guys. Yeti please follow me. Alright so Yetis cannot get up to this platform here this small region. So you can just simply stay on top of here. Well the Yeti is basically a guy and the pitical, so it's going to be uh, it's going to have a really nice headshot multiplier so you can just stay here and just kill the Yetis like that. And uh, Yetis are extremely good for experience so keep that in mind and uh, diavos also get stuck but not right down at the bottom if you are facing a diavos you have to get up to the top because the diavos will get the diavos can manage to get up to this particular spot please 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 can get up to this particular spot but no more until this spot they can, the diavos can get up so you can just stand at the very top there and keep killing the diavos and the yetis for xp all right Let's keep running up now. So you can use a spider or a arthropleura for this and uh, you will be completely fine on them because you will not have to fight because other creatures will not aggro onto you if you are on one of those guys but this problem is you have to just go through all the water and you can continuously keep doing that if you have a lot of eggs with you and I just keep hitting stuff because this guy is too fast. Or if you have a gold chain on your saber tooth or diver, whatever creature you decide to use, it's really good because of the extra added armor and also because, well, it buffs up you to a certain level. Now, instead of taking that entire route going around that way, you can just simply jump like that and avoid the waters and possibly sometimes creatures will spawn in. Afterwards, the pathway is quite clear because all the other creatures will have despawned or will be despawning as you go along which i think might be a glitch well who am i to complain i'm just gonna take advantage of that and sometimes currently the loot drop that's available in this cave the yellow loot drop that i just looted earlier sometimes it will be available in this region sometimes not it appears here as well sometimes so just keep that in mind as well when you're just running this and there's going to be a bit of lag sometimes like a lag spike suddenly that occurs that's because all the creatures are despawning all right so that's done and yetis cannot get up here so you can just stay here and just keep shooting it in the face to kill the yetis well they are simply like gigantopithecus so they have a three times headshot multiplier so you can kill them pretty fast and if you are doing the photography for alpha creatures pursuit just remember that the yetis are counted as alpha creatures so you can just simply kill them not kill them take a photo of them by coming to this cave all right so that part's done yeah just like that and we are out of the cave if you want you can just place a bed like this so if you die you can respawn inside there and let's just go up 
straight there and tribute this artifact. Well, it's quite easy. The position of this cave has made it quite easy for us to tribute the artifact. It's just a simple short flight to the top of this uh, mountain where you can find the blue obelisk and just simply tributing it. Let's see what we are going to get this time. Alright. The Yeti cave is quite actually the best cave that you can actually run if you are just planning for resources because you can get ascendant compound boss. Uh, the compound ball blueprints if you just consider them you may have if you just get ascendant compound blue 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 okay let's try that again if you get the blueprints they are pretty darn expensive 50k metal to just craft up 50k polymer as well which i don't know how am i supposed to get them all right and you can get scuba masks and also scuba tanks as well there's a blueprint for a rex saddle and blueprint for fabricated pistols as well and you can get gas masks which is going to be quite a good help uh the difficulty you're playing on will depend will change the quality of the gas mask you are getting along with all of these and that's a damn that's a really good compound bow oh well anyways alright so you can get blueprints as well uh, for the good stuff coming down here that's a good fabricated pistol and then a rex saddle things like that are obtainable here just remember that if you don't have a giga saddle you can just tribute this artifact for the giga saddle as well because giga saddles can be taken by tributing the artifact i mean not the saddle but the blueprint for it which is also quite good but just remember that you won't be in for a inexpensive kind of blueprint it's going to be quite expensive especially if you are playing on this difficulty it's going to be damn expensive just remember that if you are planning on killing all the creatures in the cave the best possible bet you can have is a good saber dude with a really good saddle a really good quality saddle depending on whatever difficulty you are playing on Alright, so guys, that's mostly about it. If you found this helpful, please remember to go ahead and punch that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel while you're at it as well. So guys, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me. This is Draken here. I'll catch you guys with the next one then.